Invoice factoring. What is the definition of invoice factoring? Also known as debt factoring and asset-based lending, invoice factoring is where a business employs another company to run their invoicing and credit control, while paying them in advance on the invoices they process. What problem does invoice factoring solve? Here is the scenario, you've just started your own business. You supply widgets to a factory run by a multinational corporation. You work so hard on your sales and finally get a deal that will make you the good money you were wanting when you first started this business. You sign a deal that stretches your capacity and after a slap up meal and drinks to celebrate your success. The next day you invest in new machinery, supplies, take on new members of staff and train them and then you get to work producing the widgets ready for the first delivery date. You work flat out for two months to produce the amount required and everyone cheers as the first order goes out complete and on time. You then head up to the accounts department and produce an invoice and send it off in the post. At this point you have incurred two months worth of overheads. You then get back to work producing the widgets for the next delivery. After 30 days you haven't yet received payment so you give your customer a call only to find out that they haven't been able to process the payment because you didn't attach the signed delivery note. At this point you have incurred three months worth of overheads. You reissue the invoice and attach the delivery note and send it off again. Two weeks later you have a call from your client saying there was a quality issue with a very small number of widgets, not a big problem and as they have not yet processed the invoice would you mind sending a new one with an adjusted figure. You do this and two weeks later you still haven't been paid so you call them again, there's no problem with the invoice but their policy is 90 days credit, from the point that they receive the correct invoice with the correct backup documentation. Although you send it out two weeks ago it was only processed yesterday. So they will pay you in three months time. At this point you have incurred four months worth of overheads and have to wait another three months incurring another three months of overheads before you are paid your first invoice. This is known as a cash flow issue. For many small businesses it doesn't have to be anywhere near as complicated a situation as that it's simply an issue of how to sustain the business in between the time the expenses are incurred and when the payment is received from the client into your bank account. This is where invoice factoring comes into its own. How does invoice factoring work? In the scenario above, you would have set up a deal with the invoice factoring company, where as soon as the first invoice was produced it would have been sent to the invoice factoring provider, they would have paid out an advance, often between 70% and 85% of the invoice value. This would mean you would have money in the bank to run your business. The invoice factoring company would then chase the factory for payment. Once they receive payment they would transfer the balance minus their fee into your bank account. What are the advantages of invoice factoring? Freeing up funds that would otherwise be stuck in unpaid invoices. Improves cash flow management. Most providers also handle credit control on your behalf. Saves admin time. What are the disadvantages? There is a cost involved. Invoice factoring companies will often lock you into a long-term contract. There are often additional monthly costs not quoted for initially. There is often a concentration limit which means it's unsuitable for businesses with only one or two customers. Outsourced credit control can affect your relationship with your clients. Things to be aware of when getting involved with invoice factoring. Disbursements. This are basically extra fees that the invoice factoring company may charge you for that might not be apparent when you initially get quotes. Things like bank payment charges, credit checks, receiving letters and admin errors. Disclosed or confidential factoring. This is where your client is aware that you are using a factoring service, disclosed, or where they are not aware that you, confidential. Approval period and refactoring fee. The approval period is the number of days agree, that if the customer hasn't paid by this time, the invoice won't be funded by the invoice factoring service. This means it will incur an additional refactoring fee, usually you will refund the money previously advanced and also pay a fee. Chocks. Client handles own credit control, 
where the invoice factoring company doesn't do the credit control. Recourse and non-recourse. This is basically insurance against your customer defaulting or becoming insolvent, non-recourse means that you will keep the money advanced to you, recourse means you won't. Security. Most invoice factoring companies will want some form of security when setting up a new contract. This might be a director's guarantee or a debenture against the business's assets. Concentration limit. Also know as high involvement limit or debtor exposure limit. This is the percentage of your business that is made up by a single customer. In the description below find our recommendations for the best companies offering invoice factoring and links to our website. Don't forget to visit our website. For more videos like this please. Subscribe like comment and share. We release new content on a regular basis. Thank you.